Roger Harrison is a Coconut Grove resident who has big plans for opening cans. A truck driver turned inventor, Harrison has come up with a new can opener that can open cans that don't need can openers. Frivolous, you might say. Hogwash, Harrison would reply, it's simply progress. He calls it the punch matic and has prototype drawings to prove he's been developing the idea a long time. The device works only on cans with push-top self-openers, which unfortunately are not available in Dade County. But Harrison says they could possibly cut your fingers. He got a can of beer in a Los Angeles bar in one of these cans and was immediately struck by a brainstorm. Took a paste paper and my ruler and measured the distance of the holes. I sat right down and uh, drew this thing out on a piece of paper. And uh, after I got it draw, drawn out, I went out to the garage and I asked the mechanic if he could cut this out of a piece of metal. And he immediately cut it out. So I brought it immediately into the bar and laid down on the counter and asked the bartender if he'd like to try it. And he tried this open and it worked perfect. You invented it right there on the spot? Right there on the spot. Harrison says his new can opener will be on the market in 60 days. Just think, the canning industry developed self-opening cans so people wouldn't have to carry around can openers. Now you'll be able to buy a special can opener to open a self-opening can that you can't even get. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News. This is a game that has no rules, no winner, no loser. It's called the Million Dollar Logo Game. Inspired by the flap created when NBC spent a million dollars for a new identifying symbol, only to find that the Nebraska Educational Network already had the same one that cost just fourteen fifty, the idea came from Miami advertising man Ron Plotkin, his wife Lynn, and two associates. Any number can play this game, which is something like solitaire in its satisfaction value. Simply punch out the 111 geometric figures and create logos, words, faces, animals. Designed as an adult toy, children can play too. Plotkin calls it a self-expression kit. To me, it's, it's a totally different kind of game. It's a game for everybody because there are no rules. You do with it what you want. It's a game because it's fun. Everybody that opens it up, once you open the box, you really can't take your hands off it. We all have artistic abilities inside, and we all have the ability to create dynamic things, and maybe some of us are afraid to or never really had the opportunity. And the Million Dollar Logo is an opportunity for everybody to, I really think before long, this, this is going to be a pet rock, uh, a useful, fun pet rock. Do-it-yourself designers should be able to do just about anything with the limitless combination of geometric figures. Well, almost anything. Ike Siemens, Channel 4 News.